The EU-funded Copernicus Climate Change Service says that for the first time, global warming has breached the 1.5 degrees Celsius threshold in the summer. Temperatures higher than 1.5 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels have been observed before but only in the northern hemisphere winter and spring months until now. The 2015 Paris Agreement commits nations to limit global average temperature rise to below 2 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels and to aim for 1.5 degrees Celsius. However, this 1.5 degrees Celsius that we're talking about limit established by the Paris Agreement has not yet been surpassed. This is because it was set for changes in 20 or 30 year averages, not for brief periods of time such as daily or monthly anomalies. In many regions of the world, warming has already surpassed 1.5 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels. As per NASA, over one-fifth of all humans live in regions that have already seen warming greater than 1.5 degrees Celsius in at least one season. As greenhouse gas concentrations rise, so does the global surface temperature. The last decade from 2011 to 2020 is the warmest on record. Since the 1980s, each decade has been warmer than the previous one. As per UN, nearly all land areas are seeing more hot days and heat waves. Higher temperatures increase heat-related illnesses and make working outdoors more difficult. Wildfires start more easily and spread more rapidly when conditions are hotter. Temperatures in the Arctic have warmed at least twice as fast as the global average. 